It's Tools Tuesday. I'm Jordan Cooper, a.k.a. Blender Ed, Blender HD. If you want to follow me on Twitter. And today, I will be showing you how you can upload your own custom player projections into Unabated. So you can calculate the edges between your projections and the prices and numbers on the board. On the odd screen, here at Unabated.com, Intelligent Betting tools and you could do this in three simple steps and you could you could also do this without having any excel knowledge whatsoever one of the biggest bugbears that people have with uh custom projections especially if you're not building your own model when you're using a trustworthy outside projection source is uh fooling around with a lot of uh xls spreadsheet documents csvs matching columns right? Making sure that the names match, that everything goes according to plan. And a lot of times you get errors. A lot of times, if you don't know necessarily what you're doing, you're not used to working with Excel, that it could get a little bit, a little bit complicated. But I'm going to show you how you don't even need to know any, anything. You don't even have to open Excel if you don't want to, in order to achieve that with unabated. So the first thing that I would do, the first step, is to go to your projection source, whether it be your own model or a trustworthy source. I use uh, Roto-Grinders Projections as my main projection source for player props. And you can see here they do have a projections page. Now, it would take a really long time if you were to just like manually input this stuff, right? These are mean projections, remember. So it would be very hard if I went to Bruno Fernando, put it typed in 7.91 for points, 5.18 for rebounds, right? You could do that. Right, you can go here, you could edit, you know, you could go and type type this stuff in if you want, but that's gonna take a really long time. So I'm gonna show you how do you do it in a very easy way. So what you need is the CSV document. Okay, you could download it here on Roto Grinders with this little CSV button, right? It'll go give out a little dialog box. It'll give you a CSV file, and I'll open this up and I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, if you're if you're used to working with the cell and working working with the with CSV, CSV is essentially a text file. It's, it's comma delimited text file. So every line has, you know, the, the, the player name and the play and the, and the salary for DFS purposes here on Roto Grinders, the team, the points, the minutes, the three points made, you know, all, all of the stats. And I'll show you right here. I'll switch, I'll switch screens, right? I need to switch screens right here just to show you what this looks like. You don't even have to open this up if you don't want to. Okay. I'm telling you, you don't even have to open this up. Right, so I'm going to show you. This is what it looks like. So this is all like, oh my god, it's all old numbers and gobbledygook, right? So it shows here all the all the columns. Here's all the players, the player IDs, everything, position, everything that's in that uh, that spreadsheet that's shown on Roto Grinders. And you want to get all of this information, right? I'm scrolling all the way down into Unabated. Okay, now you don't even have to open up Excel, but I just wanted to show you exactly what this looked like, right? If you wanted to edit something, you would obviously do that in Excel if you wanted to, but I'm going to close this out and I'm going to go back to the unabated screen. Share my screen right here, right? Go, let's go back to, here's the, the projection screen. Then I go to unabated. So you can see here, you get to, you get to unabated prop screen and you'll see, you know, here you could line shop. You could do all you want, right? If you're going to, the Luka Doncic, you know, you're going to take a look and then go, Oh, across the board. Oh, the best uh, The best line is, uh, looks like uh, FanDuel, minus 112 over 32 and a half, right? You could, you could just use the odd screen if you want, but the main purpose of, of this, uh, of the screen is to import your projections and have it calculate the edge differences in your projection, your mean projection versus the median betting line uh, across all the books that uh, that either you have access to or you want to show on the screen. So the first step, right? I said it's going to be easy steps. First step is just to download your projections, right? Open, you know, just to have that CSV file, right? If you're building your own model, right? And then you're going to go to this upload projections button right here, right? Very simple, right? Upload projections. Now, Unabated has templates, right? So they have their own like little rigid templates where if you're, proficient in Excel, you could download the template for the given day and input and, you know, V look up and do all the, all the fancy stuff. I try to leave the fancy stuff out of these videos. This is for, for beginners and intermediates, right? 
that may not be used to working with Excel. So you can download the template and, and work with it on your own and just upload it right back, right? You can do that. But Unabated has this new easier mapper that I would suggest that you use. So you go here, you click on the preview, our new easier mapper, right? So here you get the screen. Now, obviously they do have, uh, you know, the partners that they work with where you can upload directly from them, but you can upload any projection source. So just any, any CSV document you have, right? One that should have, you know, your NBA player projections and everything in it. So I'm going to click on upload projection source and I'm going to go, I'm going to go to that CSV file in, in my download folder, find it, open it up in here. And it's now it's going to show you all the columns that you have in that CSV document, right? It's going to show, here's all the columns, right? All the information, right? Your 0.5, 0 0.6, all, all this, all this stuff over here. So this looks like gobbledygook to you, but each of these columns go towards what, you know, the, the numbers and the, the headings in the unabated prop tool. So player ID, you don't need, right? The player IDs that are on the Rotogrides projections are actually for, for DraftKings. So we're not going to map those, but we're going to map the player, right? So you have all the field. This is, it says your field. So it says player. So the player field is the name. And it's going to try to match it up in this dropdown with what the unabated screen has. So you would select name and go, yes, import. I would like to import the name. Do I need to import the salary? No, I don't need to import the salary. Or even the opponent, right? I can if I want, right? The opponent, we don't have a column for that, right? Position, yes, no. In NBA, for the prop screen, you don't even need position. You don't even need the opponent. You don't even need the team if you don't want to. Right, you don't even need this, right? But you do need all the these other columns. So points, you want to map the points PTS column to points, right? So you can go use the scroll down and go points, rebounds to rebounds, right? Assists to assists, right? Three points made, you could find it, right? In our projections document, it's 3 p.m., but in unabated, it is, is called three points made. So you put that in. Right, turnovers, right? You can put in turnovers. Depends on what call, what what you're betting on. Also, I mean, a lot of times you're betting on points, rebounds, and assists, but you could put all these in. Right here, steals, steals, blocks. You can put all of, all of these in. Points plus assists, right? Point, point, points plus rebounds. I would highly suggest you do not uh, import these because the the points, rebounds, assists are already. On the unabated screen, you're already importing them, and you'll see later that uh, it's already going to simulate the PRA, PA, RA, you know, uh, R play, you know, all, all the the combo combinations, all the combo bets uh, together, and simulate that out. So, really, really, the true things that you need for the simmable props here for NBA are points, rebounds, and assists. But if you're on a different sport, if you're at NFL. If you're uh, MLB, basically, it's going to show you here are all your fields that are in your document, right? And what would you like to map that column to in the unabated template, right? So you don't have to download the template, match up the columns. You don't have to do any of that. This easy mapper does it for you. So I'm just going to import the name, the points, rebounds, and the assists, right? So you click this little next button when you're done with that. You can see here, and now you're going to get just in case. It can't map to certain players. You could choose who it maps to, right? If it can't match up the names, AJ Green on Milwaukee, right? I'm going to select a map, Caleb Houston for Orlando. Whether or not he's a guard or a forward, the positions really don't matter, right? Lou Dort here, right? Has nothing in there. Mo Wagner, PJ Washington, right? We get some naming issues. You can go back into your file and, and, and add, you know, PJ with the, with the, the, you know, decimal points with little periods if you need. But you go through all of that. You could even go into an advanced mode and, and and play around with this some. But you most of the time, you don't need to do any of that. So you map any of the players that it doesn't recognize. Then you finish, right? And then it says successfully loaded 241 projections. Now, I want to throw this in for people that may be using unabated, maybe using it for the first time. In the case, right, I'm just going to be a little, little troubleshooting, right? Because we see this in the unabated Discord often that people upload their player projections 
And then this thing kind of just like, kind of like goes on a, like the timer just keeps on going, right? It's like projections, updating, updating, updating. The screen box just goes updating, updating, updating. Typically, typically, I would say 90 plus percent of the time, it's due to having like a blank line in your, in your CSV, right? There's an extra call. There's a line with like a call with the, with the comma, like you're, you're downloading projections here. And there's like a guy that has like zero minutes for whatever reason. Right. And it's not accepting it. If you're getting that, if you're getting that error, right, just go into that Excel document and get rid of that, that line. Okay. So there's a little, little free troubleshooting advice. Most of the time, it's not a problem. Most of the time, this is exactly what happens. It just sells you successfully loaded 241 projections. So this is the second step, right? You click upload, you map, you map out all the columns to each other. You go next, it uploads, you click finish. So now what's going to happen here is that all the projections of all the players that are that are in your document, right? Some of them, some of them are missing, right? All the projections in your document are going to show up on all the screens. Right. So you get here the points. I can switch over to to assists. Right. So you see here the assists right there. Right. So 2.363 assists for Josh Green, Luca, all, all this, all this stuff right here. It even will calculate the points, rebounds, and assists. Right. It'll show you 9.65 points, 3.65 rebounds, 2.63 assists. Right. It'll show you all this. Okay. So now that you've got everything loaded in here, so we have the points loaded in here. Now, in order to get the best line, available right and show the edge on each mean projection mapped out to the median numbers and prices on the sports book all you have to do is click these little little play buttons and it'll simulate it out right so we can simulate luca here luca has a has a mean projection of 30.91 and if i simulate that out it shows here that based on that mean projection uh, the best available line is the under 33 and a half at minus 120 for a 15.18% edge. And you could see it across all the books that you have loaded here. And the books that I have, are these are the five books that are available to me in Kentucky that I have accounts on. And I could see across the board of where, where the best line is and what the edge is. Now you must be thinking, it's like, oh, am I supposed to go to like all of these buttons? And oh, do I have to click on Donovan Mitchell here and see? It's like, oh, okay. We see here there's not much edge, right? The best number on Donovan Mitchell compared to our projections is over 26 and a half at minus 102 with a, a marginal, if any, edge, 0.48%, right? DraftKings has it at over 25 and a half at minus 150. Caesars has it at over 25 and a half at minus 154. And these are all negative. So you wouldn't you wouldn't be betting these, right? But you're not you don't have to go through all of these and click on all these buttons. You can just click on the little button that's right up over here. Right on the simulate, the simulate header, and it'll simulate all of the props that are underneath it. Right, so you get all of this, all of this, and it may take a couple of seconds. Right, so I'm going to click that button, and you're going to see the simulation is going to go. You're going to see the little, little. Oh, there you go. See, boom, 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 filling it all in. Right, you scroll down, you'll see it'll go, it'll go, it'll go to Palo Benchero, it'll go down here, it'll simulate everything that's here. Right, as it keeps on going, right? It takes about a second for each one. So scroll all the way down, keeps on going. So you get all these green numbers, right? And the green numbers represent compared to your mean projection, simulating it out to a median, and then comparing it to the number and the price on the board that you that you get with it. And what, what is the edge between your mean projection and that number and that price? Okay. Now that's the third step, but it's it's going to be a little bit difficult to like, you know, okay, well, this one doesn't have an edge. This one does. This one, this one has a 48.88% edge, which may be, may be a little suspect, right? Typically, typically little, little pro tip, right? If it's, if something shows as a ridiculous edge, a lot of times it's more, it's, it's more likely that, that your number may be, may be off than, uh, than the, the market is so far off. A lot of times in NBA, it has to do with injury news, has to do with minutes allocations, stuff like that. But if you're just looking to bet on the best edges, you could go to the best line header, and you see these little two arrows here? You could sort by this green number, by this edge, right? So I could just click here and go up or down, right? This is sorting it ascending or descending, 
So I'm going to go best line ascending down. And you could just start right at the top and you go, okay, here, here, here are the top edges based on the current books that you have shown. You could add books if you want, right? You could add books, what gets calculated into the best line. Because, you know, even though, you know, I only have accounts at these five books, maybe I want to throw in a, throw in a circa with, even though they don't have as many props, I want to throw in some offshore books. I want to show, show, show whatever books I want. I could go to the settings screen. Right. And you see here props, right? This props tab, and it'll show two little columns of here's the book, and here's all the books that are available that the uh, unabated odd screen could show for. So you have like Bookmaker here, Bet Rivers, Bovada, Parks, Unibet, DraftKings pick six if you're playing that game. Right. So you could display as what, whichever ones you want, and you also could put whatever the best line is. Right. You could, even though you may not have an account in Sugar, Sugar House, you may want to display the best line from Sugar House if, for, for whatever reason. Right. So I have all, all of the books that I have displayed. Right. All the books that I want to calculate into the best line. Right. You could save this at any time. It saves session after session. You don't have to go in and put in your books every single time. And then here you go. And then go to town. Right. This is the points projection. So you could go, you could look at Jalen, Jalen Johnson right here and you go, okay, where's the, where's the, where's the best price and what's the edge on each bet, right? So you go through it and you could go. And if you're, if you're betting in volume, if you're flat betting in volume that, you know, especially that's, that's what I do is assuming obviously an NBA, there's some, there's some nuances, injury news, you know, questionable tags, things like that. But for the most part, I'm pretty much going through and, you know, I'm flat betting on, you know, any any decent enough green number, right? And then you could switch here, right? You see all these categories. So you could go to assists, right? So you go to the assist, assist page and you could do the same exact thing. You click on this little simulate button, right? And it'll simulate all the assists. Now I have it all already sorted by best line. So you see here, the, the bigger numbers start going to the top. Start going to the top, start going to the top, right? Scroll down, you wait, you wait for, for all of them to load, right? Because it takes a second for each one, right? It goes through, it's simulating, simulating, simulating. And remember, the reason why it's simulating is because you're importing mean projections, but you're betting on median numbers. So it's not just, you know, just looking at the, you know, this projections document and going, you know, this guy has a 19 point projection. I'm going to bet the over... 17 and a half at minus 135. That's probably that that doesn't have an edge, right? Because this is a mean and the betting lines are medians. And I do have a video that it, that explains a bunch of that. It's called, uh, you know, skewed distributions. So go check that out. But here you go. I mean, this is this is as simple as it is, right? You could go to the PRAs, right? In, in NBA, right? Because we have the points, the rebounds and the assists, right? And you could simulate that out also, right? You could click on the little you go to each screen. That's typically what I do. I go to each screen, have it simulate everything out, right? You scroll down just to make sure everything's taken care of, right? On a large NBA slate, on a large day or something, MLB, something like that, I may click the button, go, you know, go take a piss or something, right? Typically, you know, maybe 30, 40 seconds, right? And it, it simulates the whole thing out. And if you go back to the points, right, it saves everything in there. Right. And as the books move, you can see these little those little indicators here. Right. Green, yellow. Right. Green means it's near real time. Right. A little tooltip will even show real time, which is pretty, pretty much real time. The yellows mean that it hasn't been updated in, in, in like 30 seconds. It's a low delay. Red means it's a high delay. So if you know, if you if you see, a, you know, an edge here uh, compared to your projections, you know, bet 365 is a little bit of a delay. Right, you may go and you may find that uh, Jalen Johnson's under 18 and a half and minus 120 is is now minus 125, right? Because it's a slight slight delay there, but mo for the most part, right? As, as long as things aren't like moving ridiculously, most of the stuff that's uh, displayed on the screen, especially you know the ones ones with the green, you have no problem with. And then you just you look through, you go. I could go down. I just sort by the best line column, and I start banging out bets, right? Now, if you're looking for, you know, do you have a bonus, you have a promo, you have some parlay boost, something like that. I mean, you could use these screens to go, okay, I want to 
I want to take, you know, the best, the best bet for rebounds with the best bet for assists, right? If you're looking for SGPs, right? Let's say you have an SGP boost, right? They're giving you $25. It's a 33% SGP boost or whatever. You could use this search column and, and, you know, choose the, choose the team, right? I could choose, you know, the Warriors, GSW, right? And just show me the Warriors players and the uh, people in the Warriors game, right? I could type in Warriors. I could do any of that. So I could just see that. So here's Minnesota versus uh, the Spurs. I could type in Emin, right? I get Jonathan Kaminga also, but I could type in Minnesota. And here you go. Here's all the Minnesota and San, uh, San Antonio players that are available on the board. So it's possible that, like, let's say I had, uh, you know, some boost on FanDuel that, you know, for uh, for an SGP. And assuming my projections are, 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 are trustworthy and reasonably accurate, right? If you're building your own model, obviously you trust yourself, right? So maybe you go in and maybe, you know, you take a look at the points and you go, okay. You know, Naz Reed under 13 and a half points right over here, right? Maybe Rudy Gobert over 14 and a half. These are the two biggest point edges based on your projections here. And then you go, you could go to assists and you can take a look here and go Mike Conley over five and a half assists. And you start pairing things together, even in the case that maybe you're, you know, you're making an SGP, maybe you're making a parlay or anything like that. It's not just, you know, necessarily for like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, bang bets across the entire board and kind of spam the way that I do. Uh, but even if you just, let's say you're just betting on like three or four, four or five things, right? Well, this is how you could sort out which which ones have the biggest edges. And let me always use that caveat that these numbers are based around your projections being reasonably accurate. And as the day goes on, obviously your projections may be updated. Maybe you find out that, you know, Jason Tatum is sitting for the Celtics. And you currently have Jason Tatum loaded into your projections. Well, obviously all the Celtics players are going to be off. Right, because you you have accounted for thirty six Jason Tatum minutes that aren't going to exist anymore. So you know what you do then? You go, you go back to your projection source or your model, right? And you do the whole process all over again, right? So you download this, you upload it back the same exact way you did it before. You map out the columns, and you import it again, right? And then you have to go and, and simulate everything out. Or, hey. You could even edit these yourself, right? If you wanted to edit uh, Drew Drew Holiday's assist, you could go in and specifically go. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower it, right? Something happened, some some news came out, and I'm gonna lower it to, to six assists, right? And then I just re-simulate that out on that one column, and it'll show across the board, right? So there you go, right? So Drew Holiday to drop down even further. So now the edge is nineteen point seven nine percent. As opposed to it was uh, near 30 before. So here you go. Is there any fancy computer programming here? Right? People get get all, you know, technologically. I'm not very technologically inclined. I don't know. Download this. Upload that. Got to map out columns. Got to things to names. Or, you know, name people have the nicknames and everything like that. It's like, look, I just I just showed you. Like without any any Excel knowledge whatsoever, without any, you know, you don't need Python or R. You don't need to, you know, to have special mappings and, and V lookups and anything in Excel. Said, nope, just get your projection source, get the CSV file. You go, you upload it, right? And you're done. And then you're on your way to finding the, the best edges across the board in multiple, in multiple multiple prop markets, right? The ones especially that are that are simmable, right? We do have blocks. We do have three points. Maybe we do stuff like that. Unabated doesn't sim those props as of yet, right? The turn means into medians, right? Do that beforehand, right? If you're, you're, you're using this to upload mean projections and then simulating those means into medians to bet on the sports books. So don't make the mistake of, of, Uploading median projections, then simulating it, and you'll find that that oh, everything is kind of shifted over to that. But this makes it very easy for you to take any trustworthy projection source of mean projections, especially from like the DFS content providers uh, or ones that you make yourself, 
and uh, and find plus EV betting situations. So if you have any questions about any of this in the process, you see how simple it is. Three steps. That's it. Three steps. Just post them in the comments. Or you could also find me in the unabated Discord, right? Just mention me there, right? Jordan Cooper or at Blender HD. Um, I'm in the Discord. And uh, they, they also have support there. So if you have an issue with uh, uploading projections that, you know, the hourglass is going like this or, you know, columns aren't matching up for whatever reason, 99% of the time, everything's fine. But they could help you in there. And I know that uh, their support will even say, hey, DM me, give me, give me the CSV file, and I'll figure out what's what's wrong with it and then then help you out. So until until next time, go to unabated.com and use their intelligent betting tools along with your projections and find profitable edges in player prop markets.